Hey guys, Luke Nuke. Um, today I wanted to run through some menu options, some pre-game menu options. I've been asked by a few people in my comments um, and some messages, you know, to do this. I've planned to do it for a while, so we're going to run through it today. Just going to take you through the basics of how to set your game up, how to sort your filters out. I mean, this is quite basic stuff for a lot of people that have been playing multiplayer for a long time. Other people that are just getting into PC gaming haven't really started it. The menus can be a bit baffling, so it's just your real quick, no messing, show you how to get your game set up. Obviously, turn the game on, hit play. You get this screen. Next thing, you want to go to this menu down here, bottom left hand corner, obviously hit play. Now, now you've got here showcases, challenges, campaigns, scenarios, multiplayer. This is a tutorial on multiplayer, so we're going for the multiplayer button. Hit multiplayer. It's going to load up. Um, and it's going to show you all the servers. Here you go. Now, the way I've got my filter button down here on the bottom left hand corner set at the moment, and I believe it's set by default to this, it's showing all of the servers with all of the different game modes. And you can see the missions in the center of the screen here showing all, all the missions starting with uh, the AW Invade, and then you've got Wasteland, and we've got Domination, and we've got AW Invade again, and we've got a co-op mission, and so on and so forth. First thing I recommend you do when you're looking for it, you go over here to the ping and hit the little triangle twice. That gives you the lowest ping starting at the top. Obviously you want to be playing on a server with a relatively good ping. Um, again, you know, if you don't know much about pings, it's time to start learning. If you're doing multiplayer gaming, you need to be playing on a relatively low ping, you know, something that's up here over a hundred you know you're starting to get slow response times I do play them sometimes but you know certainly into the reds you don't really want to be going there you know you want to be looking for something that's in the greens preferably <laughs> I've been told 30 to 60 is optimum people might disagree with that I generally go for the lowest ping possible because they kind of fluctuate anyway it's enough about pings you should really know about pings by now already so how you want to go through you if you go to your filter button down here hit filters and this little type uh, box here that's blank at the moment, hit the drop down menu. Now, here are your different match filter options. Now, to get everything up like we just had, you want to go to the very top one that's just a blank space. Hit blank and hit OK. And that takes us back to where we were. And you want to hit the ping button twice and you get your all the pings come up in a nice order. Now, let's say you just wanted to do deathmatch for instance. You'll go here, you'll hit deathmatch, you'll select OK and you'll see it change and it'll come up with all of the deathmatches available. Not as many options. It's a bit slower. As you see that's about it. A few might load up in a minute, a few more might load up in a minute. Got a lot of uh, King of the Hill come here. I like King of the Hill, love this game. I've done a few uh, tutorials on it and shown off a bit of, uh, bit of my super skills. Um, so that's how you'd obviously click on that. Yeah, I'm not going to click on it now for the tutorial. Click on that and hit join down here, and the game will start. We'll do that right at the end. Um, then we've got all the other options. That was that was team deathmatch. You got deathmatch. You got unknown game modes, uh, cooperative missions. Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't actually know which one wasteland, which is one of my favourite modes, comes under. That's why I use the blank one at the bottom. I think it could be sandbox perhaps but don't shoot me for not knowing um, I just generally like to hit this select section here so I can see all of the options come up and then I just choose which one I want <coughs> oh, it says type sandbox so I'm pretty sure Wasteland is under sandbox this gives you an idea of what the games are under so that's pretty much the filters you know it's pretty straightforward um, once you've seen it run through like that uh, just click your pings like this then you want to start the game as simple as this. I look for you know look for a map where you've got quite a lot of people on. 37 to 80. That's quite good. You could also click on the players button twice and you get the most amount of players up there, you see? So ping of 15. That's a pretty good one to go for. Uh, it's got a little question mark on it. Let's see if it lets us join it or not. Hit join. I'll drink some my tea while we're waiting. There we go, on to the next screen. Now this one. I'll be honest, this confused me a little bit when I first started Armor 3 but it's quite straightforward when you get the hang of it. First thing you want to look at is these three little squares over here. You've got blue, red, and green. Now, 
I like to play as an ind independent. The reason for that is my playing style is a bit chaotic. I generally shoot pretty much shoot first, ask questions later. So I like to be independent. That way, when I shoot somebody, I know that it's me against everybody. If you're playing on a team, then you're going to have to be careful. Obviously, you can't just shoot first. You're going to have to check whether that person's on your team because there are repercussions for shooting your team man. Obviously, it's not good playing. So you're automatically, you see up here, it says uh, top left, rolls for uh, Blurford. Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. Blurford, Blurford. Anyway, um, you want to hit independent or the red one, whichever you want, but I'm going independent. Now, you need to scroll down here looking for an empty space. Obviously, you can see this one's taken up by Brad. Then we've got Luke. Then we've got whoever this is, UK MSAK. Then we've got Bose Killer. We want to go for an empty section. So we've got Alpha 2.2 here. You want to click on that, and you see my computer name, Beast.2. <laughs> Beast point two comes up. Uh, that's it. We've accepted that position now, and you hit OK. It's the same for all the game modes. They all get a very similar screen. You've got to look for an empty spot. Run through your blue, red, or greens, whoever which team you want to be on. Look for your empty spot. I'm now a combat lifesaver group leader, and let it load up. And with any luck, we should see the game. And after a few seconds, once you load into the game, it gives you a few seconds to decide on which team, if you're happy on that team, or switch, and then it locks you to the team. And then that's it. This bit of rubbish always comes up. Script used for hacking not found. I presume that's telling me that I'm not hacking, which obviously I'm not. I'm not a hacker. I think that's what that means. Again, not 100% sure. I think there's still a few little glitchy things in this game. Welcome to Wasteland. Um, and there we go, just start the game. These buttons don't work unless you've got somebody to spawn on. So you want to hit random. And I have spawned. Absolutely love this game. This is the uh, newer map that came out with the new release, I believe. Um, and check these cars that you get out. Super fast cars. Absolutely love driving these cars. Anyway. <laughs> That's it. Um, I'm Luke Nukes, and that's the end of my little tutorial about uh, about filters and pre-game menus. Um, any more questions you've got, uh, you know, just put them in the comments. Happy to answer them and do what I can do to help you guys out. Um, just let me know what you want. You know, it's, it's all good. If you like my video, please like it. If you didn't like it, then you know, don't bother, as I always say. Um, always happy for people to subscribe, you know, and always happy to receive comments off you guys. I always get back to you guys. Uh, anyone that comments, I try my hardest to reply to everybody. So, thanks a lot, and see you guys in the next one.